Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Sagittarius, and this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my Radiant Rider Weight Tarot deck, and there will be no clarification, but I will be pulling you a card from Messages from the Guides Transformation deck. Okay? I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. To everyone stopping by, darlings, I welcome you with open arms and an open heart. Please know I deliver these messages to you from my heart to your heart always. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Okay, darlings? So let's see what message or messages we have for you. So Sagittarius, this is for you. We have the Seven of Wands. Whatever challenges you're facing, you're over them, okay? They're behind you. You got the Seven of Pentacles. Stop worrying about the money. That's a card of not to worry, okay? Stop worrying. You have enough. You, whatever it was that you invested in, is you're well invested, okay? Stop worrying about the money. Or the financial part of it. The more you worry is the more you push it away from you. We got the chariot. There's something coming in pretty fast for you here. We have the king of cups. The king of cups is in the past. That could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. That's past energy. We got the eight of cups. Maybe you walked away from that energy. I'm not sure. Or maybe you're thinking about walking away. You got the four of cups, happiness in your environment, or are you longing, walking towards happiness? Then we got the eight of swords. You're pretty tied up inside here. Now you see this card here. This card is, whatever is going on is something you put yourself into, okay? You know, whatever is that, whatever it is that you're walking away from, whatever challenges you're facing, that's a card of, look, I have free will. I put myself in this situation. I can take myself out of it. It's totally up to you. Then you have the Three of Swords, and it's a broken heart here. There's some kind of broken heart. You got the Queen of Cups. There might be a Pisces, a Cancer, and a Scorpio here. It could be this broken heart has you feeling very emotional. Or I don't know if this water energy is coming back through. Whatever it is, it's something very unhealthy here. Okay? There's something unhealthy. Now, the devil is about addictions. It could be drugs, it could be alcohol, it could be food, it could be overdoing the do. Um, but it it's something unhealthy in your environment, okay, Sagittarius? So you need to take care of it. It seems like you got a lot of sadness hanging around and, and you're heavy emotionally. We got the Five of Cups, we got the Wheel of Fortune, and we got the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever it is that's going on, darling, you're really feeling upside down. Or darlings, you're really feeling upside down. But I'm here to tell you, you are above your challenges, okay? You got the Wheel of Fortune, and you got the Five of Cups, you got the Wheel of Fortune, and you got the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is about good things happening. Your delays are over. But it's up to you, okay, to see this good fortune that's coming in. And then we got the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles is about a unexpected finance or finances you weren't expecting it to come from wherever it came from and it came or it could be that job that you wanted and you were waiting for and you know it came true but it's enough to take care of you and your family you're gonna come get over you're gonna overcome whatever it is that you're going through even though you feel emotional this is past emotional as well okay this is not just current you've been like this for a while and it's very unhealthy. You got the High Priestess, you got the Knight of Swords, and you got the Page of Wands. You need to use your intuition. You have the gift, so please do use it. Start trusting yourself. You got all the answers within you. You got the Knight of Swords here. Some kind of shift. Are you very determined 
to overcome whatever it is you're going through. And the page of wands, something is going to motivate you. Something is coming in to motivate you. All right, the high priestess, the knight of swords, and the page of wands. And what's coming in, babies, is a new financial beginning. Okay, abundance. A new opportunity that Rays you were waiting for. You keep your eye on the prize and don't you give up. You keep going. You hear me? It's coming. You just got to get out of your head. You might be a little tied up inside and you got some sadness hanging around. Just got to get out of that. You'll be fine. There's no doubt you will be fine. So let's see here. What do, you, what do your guides want you to know? What do your guides want you to know? Death is an illusion. Death is transformation. Death is a, an illusion. Let's see what it means. I've never pulled that card before. The death of the physical vessel exists. There is a beginning, a middle, and an end to every life form. Whether it is measured in minutes, days, years, or decades, it is the nature of the molecules of this earthly plane to have an end date. The death of the conscious energy or soul of the vessel. The death of the conscious energy of the vessel, however, is an illusion. But because it can't be seen or measured and because there is no instruments to detect it, many humans question the ability of consciousness to survive the death of the vessel. Just because the, the limitations of the brain aren't able to explain the intricate dance between the physical dimensions and spiritual dimensions doesn't negate its existence. Spirit uses the illusion of death as a tool and it manifests itself as grief. This card is coming up to you because you need assistance with feelings of loss. Humans and animals die, relationships and careers end. But the brave soul is the one that turns the loss into a learning experience for not only its own benefit, but for the benefit of others. Grief is real. Mourning the absence of something that is no longer of the physical is a natural response. Learning from your grief and helping others with their grief is one of the most important events that a soul can experience on earth because grief is not possible in the spirit realm. Spirit knows that the bond of love never die and that the souls who are no longer manifesting as physical are more alive and with you than you ever than was ever possible in the earth dimension. Your conscious mind has trouble with this concept, but know that the reunion with your spirit family is also an illusion because in reality, you've never been separated. Please acknowledge this fact as you work to wor work through your loss. I want to pull one more card for you guys. That was a tough one. I never pulled that one before. Patience is virtue. Oh, patience is virtue. Where are you at? Oh my, where is it at? There we go. <laughs> Allowing yourself to experience life as it ebbs and flows without having any connection to its timing is indeed a gift. Remember time is an illusion and you are eternal. Y'all need a message here today, don't you? The clock ticks in this physical dimension, but it is just a device we use for measuring. Your higher self has always been and will always be. It's the material bodies that come and go. What is going on? 
As you contemplate this card, the guides want to remind you to slow down and enjoy your journey. If you race through it, you will miss the pearls on the path. Slow down, soul traveler. There are no rewards for finishing first. The rewards are the experiences that you are passing by. Be present and acknowledge the wonders of this dimension. Free yourself from expectations and let your path unfold. You only have power in this present moment. If you waste it by pondering what is to come, you've lost the moment's power. It never comes again. I love you, darlings. And I definitely will chat with you soon.